For the past videos na kinreate ko for this channel, you might have noticed that I am releasing a couple of shorts. And one thing that I wanted to have for this year is a digicam. That tends to be a trailer of my upcoming videos in a certain week. Everything is created using the Wondershare Filmware 12. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create your shorts as a trailer using the Wondershare Filmware 12. And before we continue, don't forget to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a single episode. All right, this tutorial will be very short and simple since I received a couple of comments that were asking how I create the short contents that will serve as my trailer for my long format videos on the same channel. So the first thing we need to do is once you're already done creating your final cut of your content, all you need to do is just export it and put the actual video on the timeline again. And you can actually choose between two methods. First is using the auto highlight. Once you already laid out your video on your timeline, just click export and you will find this option on the bottom part of the export page as auto highlight. And the only thing you need to do is stick to enable it and run the export directly. So what will happen is you're going to produce two separate videos. One is for your long format export and the second one is the auto highlight. Well, it actually depends on the format that you want to do if it's a vertical video or also a landscape. You can actually do two separate methods. But on my perspective, since YouTube Shorts are getting huge attention in terms of the algorithm for YouTube right now, so I prefer to post it as a YouTube Shorts instead. So at least I can gain traffic and bring all the viewers from the YouTube Shorts platform all the way to the long format videos that I create on the same channel. So the second option is to choose the best parts of your video and try to crop them up and combine them and at least form a 15 second video that will serve as your trailer. So once I already laid out the video on the timeline, what I do is change the format to 9 by 16, which is the vertical version. So it's either you can put it on your Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube Shorts. But since my target for today's episode is for YouTube Shorts, that will be the same ratio that I'm going to do on this specific content. Since initially that your video is in your landscape format, what I usually do is to adjust and crop the video and try to find the balance between the actual footage in landscape and put them as a vertical video without sacrificing the actual quality. Right? And once you're already contented with the cropping of your videos, time to add some effects. I don't usually put overall effects on the video, just a normal color grading, a couple of effects, just to get the attention of the viewers on the shorts. Since we all know that majority of the viewers right now had a short attention span. And once you're already contented with your produced shorts, you can just export it again and wait for it to be finished. And there you go. And yep, very short and simple. That's how you do your YouTube shorts out of the main content that you had for your YouTube channel. So at least you can gain more traffic and bring them all the way from your YouTube shorts platform to your long format videos. And I guess that's about it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one.